there's one. All right, got some grass out here. I was hoping we could find a couple on the throw. First one of the day. After just a handful of casts, too. I'll take that. Tell me you're still on, feller. Oh, yeah, he's on. Oh, no. He's just covered in slime. He looked bigger than that. Well, it gave me a daggum bath. Not that I'm worried about that since it's raining and I forgot my rain gear and I'm already soaked. Okay, not a big guy. I thought he was bigger. Completely stuck though. Would love to get on a little frog bite today. I'll take it. There we go. First one of the day. Over a pound, little pound and a halfer. Cool. Oh, oh my gosh, something just blew up right there on the edge. A little frog bite. Had yet to get on a really good solid frog bite. I had some earlier this year, but it's been a minute. There's another one. Oh man. Let's go. What a fun day. Got rain coming in. I was hoping it would be a top water day. All right. A couple casts on a little point. Another little pound and a quarter fish, and he was stuck. Oh, yes, dude. I don't care what size they are on a frog. If I can only fish one lure for the rest of my life and catch fish on it, if I could go anywhere. Always catch fish, it'd be a frog. This is the new little scum, I don't know, smaller launch frog or something. Hooks are good and sharp, they're pointed up. Good little compact profile. And I remember when I first saw these, it's got like an open butt side with a little weight that sticks down. Anytime you get water in there, when you cast, it just lets it all out. It doesn't take on water because it sits like this with the weight down. So pretty cool design by them. You don't have to worry about squeezing it and making the frog pee all the time. on the edge of the grass. Been a minute since we found one. All right. Oh, another frogfish on the edge of the grass. I figured the edge of it up in side has been really, really shallow. Not meaning they can't be there, but cruising those edges is usually a good spot to find them. Pinned right in the side. Well, so far we haven't missed any. Great hookup ratio. I probably just jinxed myself. Another pound and a half over there. We'll take it. This is a perfect um, showing of what I'm talking about when I say walk the edge of grass. See all this mat out here. You can try working this. I tried working all that, nothing. Right here, you can see there's a pretty good edge. So let's keep working that and see what else we can find. Oh well, gee, I'm, I'm glad I waited when I got here for it to, uh, to calm down. When I went out, it was barely raining. Now I'm getting completely drenched. It said it was supposed to stop. Yeah, boy. Weather was uh, slightly off today. Luckily, it's decently decently warm out. It got down to 60 last night, but it's 70 now. Water temp is 77 here. So it's uh, interesting for the end of July, not your normal. There we go. Another one in the grass. All right. Frog fishing in the rain. Oh, you know it's a good time when you're catching a frog fish. Even though I am completely drenched, no rain gear, ill prepared Debo, but hey, frogging in the rain around the edge of grass. And so far, they are getting this thing completely. Look at that, dude. Smoked it. All right. Another dude on the frog. Man, I love catching frog fish. My rudder is all stuck up in this grass which is actually fine because it's keeping me here. I wanted to hit some of this. There was a fish that hit it in the grass right in front of me. So I was like, well, maybe I need to come out to this. Now this stuff is sparse. You can see there's like little, just barely growing up above the surface or growing up to the surface. That dude was in this. So maybe if we kind of cover some of this, there's more over in here. I don't know what the depth is. My thing kept flashing. I don't know if I have a bad connection or what. I just turned it off because I was tired of watching that stupid thing flash, but Maybe we can cover some more of this. Find a couple more, it'll be all right. The other important thing too, I've talked about this a lot, working a frog, is a lot of people will just kind of chug it, chug, 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 kill it, chug, 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 chug. 
I like to walk the frog, kick it back and forth. And if you watch the nose of it, when you walk it back and forth, forth aggressive, you can get those pops like that. So you can make it look like a popping frog when there's a little bit of ripple on the water or like now when it's raining, you want to make a little, <laughs> a little more disturbance. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect explanation there and uh, showing that yes, it works. Walk it back and forth, get that pop. Oh man. How about that for, uh, for working on the spot? Another little pound and a half for man. Crushing them on the frog, dude. That is, that's as fun as it gets, I'm telling you. As fun as it gets. That dude was pinned. There we go. Another one. Love it, dude. God, this is fun. All right. Well, walking a frog. As you can see, it works. Well, since I'm in all this shallow grass, I think I showed you all this a while ago. I wanna, got one of these double uh, paddle holder deals. That way when I'm in this grass, I can lift up my pedals and do a little hand paddling around some of this. Seems to work out all right. Oh, whole freaking family of otters there. See those? Well, that's not good. Otters will destroy a freaking lake in no time. Oh, not good. Get out of here, otters. Look at them. Now the other important thing about walking it like this and trying to get that nose to pop if I can zoom in here and show you guys when you really get that nose popping like that you have to have just a little bit of slack in the line same thing for when you're walking the dog with like a you know walking bait a spook if you don't have slack in it you're just going to keep pulling it straight so you have to have a slack bent line and just little twitches of the rod if you look at my rod here I'm only moving it maybe six inches I'm getting that thing to kick back and forth with that slack line in it. Back, forth, left, right, left, right. And that's what I'm really looking for when I want to create more disturbance like this and just walk it a little bit harder. Short, quick, ding, 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 ding. That was my first fish lost today. <laughs> well, my hand slipped off and hit me right in the glasses. <laughs> uh, but there we go. Another frogfish. Gosh dang, that's funny. Ooh, he's got like growths on his tail. Gross, but he's a frogfish. Yeah, old Debo, doing uh, doing great here. Just smacking himself in the eyes and his glasses. Glad I didn't break them. Setting hooks with wet hands. It is wet and nasty out. Come on, I need one more bowling ball. It's absolutely started pouring on me again. Looks like there's more storms coming, so it's going to be the end of the road here. I tried paddling in some of the shallower stuff. I think we're going to have to hit some of these trees and stuff on the way out. Because, uh, yeah, the days... Day's coming to a, a, a wet and, and drenched end, you can see. Uh, I've got a built-in live well down here. My feet and everything are completely soaked. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a wet and wild day here. All right, fishing friends. Well, unfortunately, I got home and found out that my uh, my camera's mic was not working. So as you can see here, I'm basically saying, hey, I'm a, a handsome lad. But as soon as I got home, the rain had stopped. Yes, about uh, 30, 45 minutes into the drive on the way home. All the storms stopped. There was no lightning and thunder. I got home and it was completely nice and sunny. So hour and a half drive. Oh, what do you do? That's what old Debo's saying. Well, you keep getting out there and keep frog fishing, dang it, because it is awesome. All right, as for the gear today, everything came off of this. This is the Kistler KLX 7.3 Heavy Frogs and Toads rated for lures 1 fourth to 1 ounce. I freaking love this rod. And this, this has been the difference maker. Look at the short butt on that. See where that comes to? I didn't hit my PDF. I didn't have any real crappy uh, hook sets because of the butt of my rod. I did slip off these handles. I love, love, love the size of the handles, those larger ones. They do get just a little slick in the rain though. They need some like texturing or something on there. Otherwise, those are near perfect. But otherwise with this rod, going to a little bit smaller butt section uh, through here definitely help with hookup. Uh, that's the P-Line Endurex braid, 50 pound, that black, and it has not faded. I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed. Again, I don't really care if it fades a little bit, but haven't uh, changed this since the beginning of the year, and I've caught multiple fish, multiple days used it. No fading. Awesome.
The Real, speaking of, the Revo SX Rocket. I love the Real, casts really well. Like I said, today's only complaint was that the handles do get a little slippery, but um, in hand, I love what Revo did with the fifth generation. Extremely comfortable in hand, low profile, very palmable. Nice little reel. And in case you're wondering, that's the Rocket, which is a 9 0 to 1, bringing in what, 39? Yeah, 39 inches per turn. And the lure was this, the black lightning look, and I don't know what the color is. I'll link everything in the description below. But that black lightning color scum frog, this is the compact series. They're just a little bit smaller. Um, hookup ratio was awesome. Unfortunately, I only had that one fish that I missed that jumped off. I had it hooked for a second. But um, love these frogs. Like I said, the, the design looks a little wonky. You would think with that open hole in it, it would just take on water. But it sits like this with its nose up out of the water and the weight down. So every time you cast, it flings water out each time. Cool little frog. I've had good success with those in the past. Uh, it's the, I think, launch frog is what they call it, the compact. So overall, super fun day of fishing. Uh, the two big things to learn from today. Number one, make sure you check the weather in the area that you're going to, because it's absolutely gorgeous here. I should have fished closer to home. And number two, make sure you always have rain gear, because when you think you don't need it, you probably will. So anyway, that's enough for me. Uh, today's subscribe fishing friend, heck, I don't know. We're going with my guy, Brian Wilson. Said that he loves the reel maintenance videos, uh, especially some of the older ones. I did just do the video uh, repairing a couple reels. Check that out. I also linked my old uh, videos of me taking apart, cleaning, lubing, all that. In case you need to do any of that, uh, make sure you take care of your gear and it will take care of you. So that's enough for me. Time to go in and, and take a shower. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Until next time.